about 20 minutes before the trade deadline, everything was quiet on the Royals front, and then the news came out that Whit Merrifield, ironically, is being dealt to the Toronto Blue Jays. You're right, very ironic he's going to Blue Jays, but they are getting a very solid player, a player that can help them win. He's surrounded by all-star caliber players in Toronto, and Whit got exactly what he had wished for. Lucas Giolito brings the Sox out of the dugout, trying to split the first two against the Kansas City Royals. The Sox three games off the pace in the AL Central on this deadline day, as the Sox are 51 and 51 and trying to find a hot streak. Hard hit, pass Moncada, and up along the side wall. And Salvi is going to jog into second base with a two-out double. And um, that was loud. Yeah, I was just going to say, that was louder than some of the home homers. 104 exit below. That's his eighth hit in 26 at-bats off Giolito. Another 0-2 coming, and he got him looking. A beauty of a changeup. Two punch-outs in the first. And tonight, they're going to see Brad Keller. And Keller's had two good good starts already against the White Sox this year. Now he should be confident and he should hopefully take that baton from Lynch. The pitch to Anderson is knocked in the air right side again but going over into the corner and did he make the catch MJ Melendez. Yes he did. Heck of a play by MJ Melendez who has been a catcher throughout his career but shining in the outfield to right field Melendez again and he's not going to get to this one. Andrew Vaughn on the move going for second. He's on his way to third. Andrew is cooking and Andrew Vaughn easily into third base here in the first inning with one down in what easily was his first career triple. Infield in and a run in. Eloy Jimenez drives in Vaughn. It's 1 0. One of the things Tony LaRusso did with this lineup was move up Eloy because he's been swinging the bat very well. Big sample size. He's faced the Brayu 38 times. Brayu's only got eight hits for a 211 average. On the ground in the center base hit. That extra base for Eloy gets the Sox an extra run. It's 2 0. Just a perfect location for that bouncer to find its way softly through the infield and give Eloy plenty of time to get home. Kata takes outside. It's ball four. Two on, one out. On the ground with enough pace to hit center field. Jose's coming home. Throw to the plate is not nearly in time. The Sox have piled on in this first inning. It is three to nothing before the second out. That's RBI number 35, and AJ continues to swing it well. So the Royals have back-to-back -back walks to begin the third, and now Giolito's going to go for a little walk, blow off some steam. Line to right field, and Sheets is there. Mickey Lopez will move up 90 feet to third. And so Bobby Witt is out number one, and the Royals now have them at the corners with one down. Grounded to short, and that's off of Anderson's glove. The Royals are going to get a run, and the White Sox do not record an out. Anderson going far to his left, trying to glove the ball, and it was in and out of his glove. So the Royals are on the board. It's a 3-1 White Sox lead. Hunter flight out to right his first time. First and second, two down. Now deals, and a swing, and a liner into left center. That's toward the gap. That's a base hit. Here comes MJ around third. He's flying home with the Royals' second run. And into second, standing up with an RBI double is Hunter Dozier. And the Royals are within one now. They're down 3-2. to two. you got to find a way to get him out here. Lucas has four strikeouts tonight. Check swing. Strikeout number five. Ends the Royals here in the third. Royals get a couple. They strand the bases loaded. No, because he's thinking if he can get a ground ball here, he can get out of the inning with no damage. Left side, that's a base hit. Harrison to third, Anderson to second. They're loaded for the Sox here in the fourth. Now they're not shifting on Eloy this time near as radically as they have been. Lopez is right in his position at second base. On the ground, pass third, down the line. Two runs will score easily, and Eloy Jimenez has a three for three night so far. It is 5 2 Sox. This is a slider that did nothing. Stayed right over the heart of the plate, and he takes it down by Dozier at third base. He can't get to it. Second and third, one out, 0 and 2. And a swing and a grounder right at Nick Prada. Runner coming home, throw home. Salvi will chase Vaughn up the line, and he will tag him with a baseball. That will allow Jimenez to get to third as Abreu reaches on the fielder's choice. Runner goes, 3-2, swing. Grounder to the right side, Bobby Witt has it. He'll fire to first, inning over. But damage done. The White Sox put up a pair. We go to the fifth inning. Chicago leads this game 5-2.
at last slider was a little better than the ones that were hit for base hits. Here comes the 0-1 and a liner in the right. That's down for a hit. Harrison got a really good read on it, but he'll only advance to third. And a wild throw to the plate from right by Melendez, but everybody holding. The bases are full with nobody out. Eloy first pitch swinging in the air to left. Isbell back at the track. Two runners tag, and Anderson is out. The Royals get a double play on that long fly ball to left. The White Sox get another run to make it 6-2. So Kyle Isbell launches one from the warning track in left field. So instead of two on, one out, it's two out, one on. And this ball is matched to left field. Down the line it goes. Gone! Jose wraps it around. For a two run shot, and the Sox pile up. High up off the fair foul pole, and Abreu, we talked about him earlier. He's picking his moments now, trying to drive the baseball, and he opens this game wide up for the White Sox as they add to their lead with two more scoring on the jack. Two quick outs. Here comes Sheets, 0 for 3. Gavin demolishes this ball deep into the night, right field, and go! Just smashed on a 1-0 pitch. And some more fireworks to boot, 9-2. And he had that uh, approach to keep the shoulder closed, drive the fastball the opposite way, and pull the trigger quick on the curveball. He just did it and crushed it out of here right down the right field line. Royals down to their final strike. It's 1-2. and two. Nice loud crowd tonight, and many on their feet. Swing and a miss, strike three. Tanner Banks gets out number 27. White Sox back over 500. And will look to Lance Lynn tomorrow to try to win the series. So a very good night all the way around. The offense came to play today. They hit the ball out of the ballpark. Lucas Giolito got the win, and all is right with the world.